Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got another incredible Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. We're going to review today. Just came in. We're actually uh, about to do some stuff to it, but I wanted to go ahead and film it. And I'll show you exactly what we're going to do and keep the price the same. This is a 2016 Forest River FR3. You know the reason I'm wanting to go ahead and put it online because somebody is going to buy it on the lot before we can get the work done. Uh, this has got the typical flaking furniture problem like so many of them have, guys. And it's not just Forest River, it's Store, it's Jayco, it's Coachman, and even some Winnebago's have that same issue. And this one's no exception, guys. This is a 2016 Forest River FR3 32DS, which is a double slide bunkhouse model with only 10,000 miles. But guys, I'm about to take all the seats and furniture out of it, send it to the upholstery shop. It's gonna be gone maybe three weeks, maybe longer. Getting it all recovered. That's over $2,000 worth of upholstery work that you don't have to do. And most dealers just do what the previous owners of this thing did, throw some seat covers over it, but I'm not like that, guys. That's not how we operate here at Parkway RV Center. You don't stay in business 54 years cutting corners. So even though I'm gonna do all that, guys, I'm gonna sell this motor home for 69.9. Guys, that is 20, almost $20,000 under NADA retail with only adjusting for the miles. Hang on a second, I'll flash that up. You can see I'm not playing around on the price, guys. Even though I'm gonna spend a little over two grand doing the work to it, I'm still going to sell it 20 grand less than what I should be selling it for. So see what I'm saying, how it would sell on a lot if I didn't post it online. Somebody would be coming by here and see, a, see oh, an FR3, a 16 FR3 with 10,000 miles for 69.9. Nine. They're going to get on their smartphone, look it up real quick and see what other ones are bringing online, see what the NADA is. They're going to go, whoa, I need to buy this one for somebody else does. And that's what's going to happen, guys. That's why I want to go ahead and post it online before it's done. Um, looking around, it's HD Max, of course. Looks great outside. Got a television out here. Double slides. It's got a 5500 Onan gasoline generator with 70 hours on it. Got a six gallon DSI water heater. Tires look great. We just drove it about 600 miles here. Thing runs and drives great. Slide outs work great. I just put them out. Somebody's added a, a little homemade, technically it's a portable satellite dish, but they made it fixed. <laughs> but hey, it works, right? A couple of good stickers right there. You see on this side, everything looks good. It does have the hydraulic leveling jacks double slides one on each side both with awning toppers it's got a power awning built on a ford f53 chassis with the 362 horsepower triton vt in the 6.8 liter does have a hitch on the back factory spec say 8,000 pounds i don't recommend putting that kind of weight on the f53 chassis but you know what guys everybody argues with me every time i say that so i'll let you be your own judge Look at the GVWR, G, uh, GWCR. I wouldn't go over about 555, maybe six at the most, depending on how far I had to tow it. One piece windshield, incredible visibility. I just drove it around from the back uh, where they dropped it off, got the little FR3 that lights up at night. You got LED lights on the front that light up at night when your headlights are on. nice motorhome let's look inside and keep in mind guys the furniture which you see in there is going to be removed and recovered so keep an open mind power steps work great dash airs ice cold you can see and i don't know if the dealer did this or the previous owners but which is what most dealers do with these flaking furniture issues. They cover it up, they don't fix it, they just cover it up. We fix it. And the stuff that we, uh, the, the, the material we use to recover these things will not flake, I promise you. 
but you can see you've got the seat covers it's kind of a chocolate uh, pleather stuff on it and we are going to replace it with as close to the factory material as possible backup camera works 10,085 miles no check engine lights no warning lights I've got the brake set because of park that's what you're supposed to do plus that way I could put the slides out um, got a shade for over the cab does have the fold down bunk that comes down over the bed I've got pictures of it um, it hasn't been used in years very very slow I put it up and down three or four times it's a lot faster but it's still slow so I'm not going to sit here and show you on the video um, <laughs> but you can go to my website there's pictures of it up and down and it does work I promise you guys uh, just need to move it up and down a few more times you'll be fine it's probably never been used sleeper sofa and I know you really can't tell guys but it's starting to flake around the top got some peak marks too um, and it's starting to flake at the bottom but once a few people sit on this sofa it's going to get worse and you can see the dinette cushions are also and it looks like they had something on there for a long time really heavy and it uh left some permanent indention so i'm getting all of this taken out recovering and put back in so everything's going to fit perfectly and you know normally i wouldn't do the sofa at this point but i'm doing the front chairs and the dinette might as well do the sofa too so uh all that's going to be done but keep in mind guys my upholstery shop to do a job like this it's going to take them at least three weeks maybe four weeks to do it so be patient You'll, be, you'll love the end result, and it's not costing you anything. You're still saving 20 grand off the price and getting all fresh upholstery, so you won't have to worry about the seats flaking. That's a step ahead of most other 2016 FR3 uh, RV owners out there, let me tell you. And it's not use that causes that. It just dries out as it gets a few years old. People sit on it, it starts flaking. Uh, sun comes in through the windshield, always gets the front seats first. It dries them out faster. And it's nothing to do with Forest River, or Jayco, Coachman, or Thor, or anybody else that uses this furniture. It was an aftermarket uh, company that supplied this furniture. And every RV they supplied furniture for did this exact same thing. Guys, I'd hate to say, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars at upholstery shops and, and buying RV furniture to replace it to fix this problem in units I've bought in the past. I'm used to it. Most dealers don't go to that much trouble, but I'm not most dealers, obviously, and I still sell it for less. This unit's got two 13,500 Atwood Air Command ducted roof airs. They both work great. The generator has only got 70 hours, but the carburetor's obviously been sitting a long time. Carburetor stopped up. It, cr it cranks and runs just for a second. I've got it on the service list. My generator guy to look at. We'll get that fixed, no problem. I just don't have it on right now, so uh, so that means I don't have the microwave on or the refrigerator on or anything like that or the airs. But we do guarantee refrigerator and freezer, the roof airs, generator, slide outs to work just like they're supposed to. Uh, kitchen area, three burner stove top looks great. <laughs> like the rest of the motorhome, it doesn't show a lot of use. And that flaking furniture is not caused by use, guys. That's just what they do when they get dried out. I mean, that's just part of it. Over the range microwave. Clean. Uh, two, uh, got a double basin sink. Television up here, LG television. Refrigerator. Doesn't look like it's ever had anything put in it, honestly, guys. What is this, a 12 cubic foot? What's the model number? 2018. This was replaced in 2018. That's cool. Must have, that's all, well, it wouldn't be under warranty, but uh, that's unusual for four years on an RV refrigerator. But hey, at least and it's, they probably spent about a $5,000 fridge. The previous owners put in here because the warranty wouldn't have covered that after four years well that's mighty nice of them again money you don't have to spend and this motorhome's been taken care of guys 
I can't blame the previous owners for the furniture because that happens to all of them. A lot of, and, and honestly, we're very, very fortunate, guys. You know, nobody else, very few of y'all can say, hey, I know an upholstery shop that's still in business. That's a dying art. We, we're lucky we still have one around here. And they've really helped us out over the years. Um, most people, you'd be replacing all this furniture, which is going to cost you twice as much to do than getting it recovered. And when you replace them, honestly, it never fits like the original. Back here in the back, because this was covered up, um, or wasn't covered up, because it's not it's not access to sunlight, it's not dried up, so it's in great shape. We're not going to worry about this sleeper sofa right here. This makes a double bed. You've got a single bunk up top, so you can sleep two to three back here. You've got a king bed in the back. This thing can sleep the whole crew, guys. This can sleep two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's probably about seven more than you want to carry with you in a motorhome but hey you, you've still got the ability to sleep 10 people if you had a desire to sleep that many um king island bed we haven't cleaned it up yet so the, the they'll put a bed spread on it when they clean it up but at least you get to see the mattress not stained it's not worn out um which this is the original mattress so right there tells me this hasn't been a live-in model Plus the miles and the generator and all that also shows me that. Television, chest of drawers, television right here for the bunks, so it doesn't have the bunk TVs. But I mean, heck, those are obsolete anyway. We got tablets and cell phones now for kids. You go in here, you got an RV toilet, shower. Somebody's took the glass shower door out and put this extended shirt. Uh, curtain rod in there so somebody big must have owned this but that's that's a lot more comfortable because that shower curtain gives if you're a big guy like me that uh that shower curtain gives a glass door does not give and this also comes out a little bit to give you a little bit more comfort while taking a shower and it's a small tub too and it looks good guys see the see the skylight no signs of water damage does have the tpo roof so very very low maintenance roof generator like I said, it it tries to fires up for a second. I say that what no, it just dies. You saw the red light. Runs for just a split second or two, then dies, and you smell old gas. So definitely a, a carburetor issue. And guys, when you store your RV, go out there at least once a month and crank your motor home up, crank your generator up, and let it run. For a while turn your air conditioners on so your generator is operating under a load you want to run it i always run mine at least an hour on motor and uh generator under a load and you don't have this carburetor issue because nothing sucks is, is after your rv's been sitting for a while you, you finally get a chance to take it out you take it out and generator carburetor's gummed up or you got old gas in it so that's that's just a little trick that I do with mine because because uh, yeah, I don't get to use mine. Trust me, as much as many of y'all would do. I wish I could. I'm going to, but <laughs> got to get to that point. <laughs> One of these years, uh, I do this every time too, guys. I buy. I've got a 25 foot motor home myself. I I don't know why I even buy one sometimes because I never use one. I mean, I never have time anymore. We're so short-handed at the lot. That's just a way of life. I mean, the days of working five days and 40 hours a week just don't exist here. Not in this business, not in 2022. That's not just us, that's anywhere. And uh, it's hard to, you know, it, we, we, I took mine out a couple times for Saturday night trips and then leave Sunday, come back, be home Sunday night, be back at work Monday morning. Uh, I tell you guys, it sucks sometimes. But don't get me wrong, I love my job, but ooh. extracurricular activities in this business is something that hasn't existed for me. Or really, any of y'all who watch this video that's in the RV industry, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, everybody's overworked right now. I mean, my typical week is almost 60 hours a week in six days. That's my typical work week, guys. So, y'all, 
If I sound tired sometimes in the video, that's because I am. <laughs> uh, plus, we're having a four-year-old at home, too. So, got to love it. Got to love it. I'm not complaining. I love this business. Love my job. But, oof. Maybe one day I get to take some time off. Um, anyway, nice unit, guys. If you've got an RV, make time to use it. I mean, I know it gets, you get into the habit of saying, no, I'm not taking it out. No, I'm not taking it out. Because you've gotten so used to that. So many of y'all have. Turn that no into a yes. Whatever you got to do, turn that no into a yes. No matter how much you don't want to, load it up, take it out, take it out. You get set up, you get the perfect spot, you'll, you're so glad you did that. Now, some people buy these things and use them for the first year or two, let them set. This is obviously what happened to this one. And just say yes. Quit looking for reasons to say no and look for reasons to say yes. And that's true with about anything in life that you enjoy doing. Anyway, guys, um, they're going to take this furniture out probably today or tomorrow take it to the poster shop so you know if you want to test drive this thing it might be a little hard to do um i had a jaco precept that same situation as this all the furniture was sent to the poster shop and it sold people bought it even without the furniture in it that's why again that's why i wanted to film this one before we took everything out so you can see what it's going to look like just imagine it looking like this but with no issues with the furniture and um a nice one guys way under book way low miles runs and drives great dash air is cold i got the fantastic vent fan going uh we, again for the 69 nine price 20 grand under nada retail we do guarantee the slide outs the generator both roof airs and the refrigerator freezer to work like they're supposed to steps and for it to run down the road like it's supposed to. Everything else is sold as is. What does that mean to you? That means you need to come inspect it for yourself. Those things work uh, or will work uh, when you buy it or we'll fix them. Uh, anything else is up to you to check or not check. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's entirely up to you to buy it or not buy it or uh, fix it or not fix it after you buy it. That's entirely up to you. That's how we sell them. That's how we keep our prices down, guys. That's the only way we're going to sell them now. I'm sorry, but if you're not the kind of person that can buy one like that, we may not be the place for you to shop. That's the only way we sell them. Now, you're welcome to hire a third-party inspector. That's something. I'm probably the only dealer in the country that will say that. But you are welcome to hire a third-party inspection service before you buy the unit, and you can get an idea of everything that you may have to work on it spend on it whatever before you buy it keeping in mind we check the major stuff but um and if you've got any if you need clarification to that guys just pick up the phone call my sales people we do not warranty these things they're sold as is where is like i said at time of sale we just guarantee the slide outs to work the uh generator the both roof airs the refrigerator freezer the steps and the uh running and driving of it and that's it everything else if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't it's up to you to fix it or not fix it uh you know if you want a full retail inspection that i have to charge you a full retail price go ahead and make a check out for an extra twenty thousand dollars that's just as fair as i can be guys and not have these things sitting in the service yard for three months at a time like it was last year when we did the full inspection it's just we can't make it work with the current help and the parts issues right now. So we're trying to buy the nicer stuff up front. Yeah, furniture, no big deal. This actually benefits you because we purposely buy units with bad furniture like this. We use that as a negotiating tool. And that allows us to buy it for a lot less than one that didn't have uh, the flaking furniture problem. And it allows us to pass that savings along to you. And that's one of the many tricks we do to get these things in with 10,000 miles that we can sell for under $20,000. Because honestly, if this thing had good furniture in it and I bought it from an auction or another RV dealer that was a trade-in, this thing would cost me what I'm selling it for. But I'm able to pass that savings along to you that we negotiated a better deal because of the furniture. 
So uh, it actually benefits you, even though you're going to have to wait two or three weeks for the furniture to get back to the upholstery shop. You're saving the money to make it worth it. Anyway, guys, um, if you got questions about this motor home, you want to come look at it, make sure it's available. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Uh, we offer nationwide delivery service for $1.50 a loaded mile one way. The 69.9 price is haggle-free, firm. Doesn't matter how you pay for it, how far you come to buy it. That's the price. I'm not taking a dime less for it under any circumstances um, because once this furniture is shipped out, the money, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I can't get it back once it's shipped out. So uh, I mean, if you happen to come in today before they take this furniture out and you want to take the furniture like it is, I'll knock a couple grand off. But like I said, the chances of that happening are slim to none. So, because um, uh, once this furniture is out, it's going to the poster shop, it's getting recovered, put back in. There's no discount. At, once that, when, once the furniture is out, there's no discount for taking it as is. So if that makes sense. Because once it's out, we're going to spend the money one way or the other, and the furniture is not going to be really good for anything but this unit. So anyway guys thank you so much for watching uh financing is available with approved credit and down payment and this thing's that far under book ought to be a really easy one to get financed if your credit qualifies uh, if you got questions about terms rates credit qualifications or anything else about the motorhome about the financing call 706-965-7929 one of my sales people will be glad to help you out they got the latest information um, anyway, we take trade-ins, and we have, uh, like I said, we have nationwide delivery for $1.50 a mile. Keep in mind, we're not like other dealers. Not only are our prices the best out there, our, we have no fees. You know, a lot of dealers don't tell you about the dock fees, the prep fees, the freight fees, the happy camper fees, and processing fees, and franchise fees, and what other name they come up with when you buy an RV, guys. They don't tell you about that till you fall in love with it, get ready to sign on the dotted line. Then suddenly here comes several hundred or even a few thousand dollars in fees. Those fees are 100% dealer profit. Never pay them, guys. The only thing we charge you guys is applicable sales tax, which that's obvious for anybody. If you want to know if you have to pay sales tax in Georgia or in your home state, you never pay sales tax twice, guys. Remember that. No matter the situation, you buy from a Georgia dealer, you never pay sales tax twice. So uh, if you want to know when and how much tax you'll pay, call one of our salespeople. If um, you want to know about financing, give us a call. If you got trade-in, give us a call. And um, if you want to buy this unit or got questions about it, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Um, yeah, and I've checked the slide out. In fact, I might even put the rooms in real quick. Um, as long as the battery's up enough on the house batteries. Let's see, park the brake set, seat up, switch off, ignition switch off. Right here. And you're gonna lose access to like a lot of it, like the drawers in the bedroom, but you can still lay on the bed. If you can squeeze through there, you can still get to your bathroom. Of course, you know, the thing is the slides, you want to put them all the way in or all the way out. And you can see right there, you can still squeeze through there. And you know, when you're parked somewhere or boondocking, just bump, bump your rooms out, guys. There's no sense in trying to be uncomfortable. Boy, don't take. I'm just strictly on battery, and you're seeing how quick they go in and out. That's all you got to do. In fact, I'll leave them in because I'm going to put it back in its parking spot. And, so. and that's it, guys. So it just takes, that's how quick it takes to put your rooms in. You can still walk around. You can still sit on your couch. You can still sit at your table. You can still make you something to eat. You still got access to a little bit of your sink. And, of course, your TV's blocked. Um, go ahead and crank it back up before it gets too hot in here. And you can see typical, that's kind of what the driver's seat look like underneath those covers so uh that's all you got to do put your room dinner out no big deal and they work
Can you walk through here? A little tight because I'm 315 pounds and six foot four. Most of y'all are not that big. King bed, you still lay down. Still get to your TV in here. Bears, all that good stuff. Bathroom, full access to that. Of course, my gut hits the light switch. <laughs> Gotta love it. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate it, guys. And uh, smash me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the Make sure you subscribe to my channel, RV's a Big Bow, for other great deals like this. Stay tuned. I'm going to try to do one more today. It's just been a crazy day. Everybody's out looking. Uh, I don't know if you noticed or not. I did about three travel trailers or four travel trailers yesterday. And the word got out we had used travel trailers. We sold three of them this morning. And uh, three used travel trailers, and they were out here getting them and pulling them around back to do the checkout on them. So our basic checkout, you know, the... the uh, air conditioner, refrigerator, and slide outs. And guys, uh, definitely got a little bit of everything here. 130, almost 140 RVs, all used at great deals just like this one. 20 grand in her book. That's why we sell five to 600 used RVs a year, guys. So hit that subscribe button. Feel free to comment, share on social media. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bo. Thank you so much for watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.